So I'm now sat at the console of our uh, glorious hill organ here at All Saints and I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of some of the sounds we have available. As you can see it's a, unusual for a, a lowly parish church uh, in a town to have a full manual console so that's the first thing you notice when you sit down here. And We'll start with the swell organ. Uh, the swell's really the beating heart of the organ, it's where a lot of the accompanimental stops to, are found, um, including this gorgeous pair of hill strings. Um, they're some of the softest sounds in the organ, they sound like this. So that's actually made up of a set of two pipes. Um, one to which we add the Celeste, which is tuned deliberately sharp. Some gorgeous sounds. We have a, a series of flutes in the swell. There's an eight foot flute. And in, um, later in the instrument's life, a four foot flute was added. The swell has its own diapason chorus, eight foot. You can add the four foot. And a two foot. And there's a mixture. There's also a flue at 16 foot, nice board on. On its own it's very gentle, but underneath the chorus it really adds some depth. So first without. And adding the board on. The swell also has a family of reeds. Unfortunately, the original Vox Humana was lost, um, but we still have the other four reeds. There's a nice oboe, which we can add to the other eight foots. A very useful sound for psalm, and psalm accompaniment. traditional English sound, and a family of three big chorus reeds, the trumpet, and it has a 16-foot partner, and a 4-foot partner, meaning that the full swell sounds like this. Well, we'll quickly move through the other departments of the organ. The grate here at the console sounds very quiet because it's actually placed around the corner from where I am. But it uh, also has a, a family of flutes, eight foot. And a four foot. And then there's a big diapason chorus, very useful for leading uh, hymn singing. Uh, here's the eight foot diapason. foot, adding two foot, adding the double diapason and the mixture, and the great originally didn't have a reed of its own, but uh, Hill returned uh, just after the turn of the century and added a nice, what was originally called euphonium, now it's referred to as the tromba stop. Meaning the full grate sounds like this. As you can hear, it's sounding a little bit poorly at the moment, the uh, a symptom of the uh, wind problems we have with the organ. Um, the original choir organ is now referred to as the solo organ, and sadly very little of the original flue work remains. 
However, we do have this gorgeous eight foot flute. And a very keen gamba. The original flues, unfortunately, don't survive from the, um, from the, the choir organ. Uh, there's also a series of reeds, the original hill clarinet, Uh, there's the tromba from the great. Um, an orchestral oboe, which was added later to replace the original which was lost. And finally we have the original hill tuba. It was revoiced a little bit um, throughout its life, but it, it has the same um, power and uh, presence in the building that it always has. Since the actions are electrified, we also have octave and sub-octave couplers, so we can really uh, make the pensioners weep. I have to give the vicar some warning if I'm going to do that, so he jumps out of his skin. Um, one of the problems that was noticed with the organ uh, not long after it was installed was that the grate, uh, whilst it's very dominant in the nave, couldn't really be heard here in the choir. Um, so that a small chancel grate, now that our choir organ was added, has a, a little flute chorus of its own. And a small diapason chorus of its own. And a useful little dulciana, which together with the flute gives a nice smaller diapason type, type sound. gets used a lot for accompanying the choir. Um, and finally, the pedal organ. Not much to say. Uh, there's the usual selection of various uh, varying powers of 16-foot stop. Nice board on. There's a violone. The dulciana from the choir at 16-foot pitch. And the big hill open wood. which is also available at 32 foot pitch. There's uh, a few eight foots, a flute, and a cello. And then a, a reed, there was never a reed on the pedal organ originally, but um, when the organ of Worcester Cathedral was rebuilt, um, the glorious hill trombone from that organ uh, found its way to here, here to Cheltenham, and that sounds like this. Needs a little bit of work, but as you can hear, it's a, it's a glorious little rumble. So, everything coupled up, we can uh, have a crescendo as you can hear the full dynamic range of the organ.